Hey guys, this Webio of Webio Westward, we are actually back east, but I'll tell you why we're doing this in a minute. This is a high speed line from Philadelphia to Harrisburg, utilizing mostly existing tracks, and unlike the last two Webios, this will be electrified at speeds of up to 300 kilometers per hour, which is equal to 185 miles per hour. Now let me tell you why I'm doing this. This is another segment of the future New York to Chicago high-speed line. I decided to deviate the line from Philadelphia so that most of the Northeast Corridor is served before the line deviates to the West. I may eventually make a connection to Washington DC and Baltimore, but currently I thought Philadelphia was a prime location as such a line already exists for the most part and just needs to be upgraded to support higher speed trains. The line will go from 30th Street Station to Downingtown to Lancaster to Middletown and finally to Harrisburg. So we'll start at Philadelphia 30th Street Station on the bottom floor. People can already connect to my existing high speed rail plan of the Northeast. If you want to see some videos on that, click on your video here and it'll take you to those particular web views. However, at Zoo interlocking, we'll actually go west along the existing Keystone Corridor. At speeds of right here, it'll be 200 kilometers per hour, 125 miles per hour. Some course training will be required here, but I think there's enough space to allow such course training in the, in the northwestern suburbs of Philadelphia. Once the line reaches Ardmore, speeds will increase to 200. 150 kilometers per hour or 155 miles per hour. There will be some curve straightening required here as well as possible rebuilding of the Rosemont station but the speeds maintained here would definitely be worth it because this is the only section in a while that has turns like this so curve straightening even if it means having to rebuild the station is worth it. Pass through Villanova, Radnor, most of the main line but interestingly, this is where it gets interesting. Right before Stratford Station, I've made the line go underground for a two mile long tunnel. And you'll be like, why a two mile long tunnel? The line is already there. Look at this line, look at this line. This line connects this to Lower Marion Township, Upper Marion Township, King of Prussia, and Norristown, along with the other northern suburbs. I may even commission a rail line along this path right here but that's in a future web view. We're focusing on eventually connecting the east to the west. Kind of like the transcontinental railroad right but high speed style. Anyways it'll go underground it'll emerge on the the line that goes to Norristown it's currently a freight line but there's enough right of way it's two tracks all that will be needed is to be electrified and this is a perfectly nearly straight segment. Trains will be running here at 300 kilometers per hour. All the way past Westchester, Exton. Here the train will have to slow down to 200 but guess what that doesn't matter. We may not even have to do curse training here. We are already at Downingtown. Now let me tell you why Downingtown is a station. Philadelphia suburbs are very biased to the north and west since the state of which the biggest city is in is also the state of these suburbs here. Basically what I'm saying is in a big city the suburbs will generally stay in the same state. This is why New Jersey suburbs do not extend as far out as the Pennsylvania suburbs. Downingtown, which is around 30 miles west of Philadelphia, will serve as a good intermediate point for people in the western Philadelphia suburbs to go west or even go east to New York, Connecticut, and Boston. So I think this would be used quite a bit and it's in a prime location near existing motorways and also on the existing lines, so it's good to go. Line will continue at 250 kilometers per hour not 300 because there are some turns here running 300 would be a little worrisome it'll have to slow down to 
200 kilometers per hour as it passes through the Christiana Gap and enters Lancaster County. Now this is where it gets interesting. Their gap PA, there's no way a train at even 200 kilometers per hour can get through there. So what I did, I'm making the speed 230 kilometers per hour, which is about 143 miles per hour. And I'm going to actually create a brand new segment of the line. I want to make sure it doesn't invade too many private properties and houses, but I may have to do a couple, so sorry, it's worth it for the most of the population. It'll go underground, under the tunnel here, under this mountain. It'll emerge at the same speed of 230. And from here on out, it's going to be 300 again. 300 interchange with the Strasbourg Railway. If you're hearing that noise, it's just a lawnmower outside my house. I don't know why it's doing it now. It's not normally now, but okay. Just north of Gordonville, it'll go into another new segment. This is about three miles. It'll stay at 300 kilometers per hour though, because this existing line will not even support speeds of 200. So 300 kmph or 185 miles per hour will work. And it will continue at that speed all the way to Lancaster. Lancaster is a needed station. It is at the heartland of Dutch PA and Amish PA. Lots of people, especially from York too, will be commuted to Lancaster to go east and north. York people will also be able to use Harrisburg to go west, which is not drawn yet, but we'll talk about that later. Lancaster is a big city, population of about 60 to 70,000 people. Its metro area is more than 200,000. So we can expect a lot of people to use this station. And this station is also pretty well out. It has four platforms and it seems like a reasonably high capacity, high quality station. It has high level platforms and pretty much any amenities that in most stations of this caliber would have so not much upgrading would be required maybe just some upgrading of the facilities to support a higher traffic load but besides that nothing much would be needed to done line will continue again increasing speed all the way to 300 kilometers per hour paralleling route 283 most of the way on it's still on the existing keystone corridor It'll pass through many towns at this high speed. It'll look cool. Hopefully it won't be too loud. I'll make sure these trains don't make loud, obnoxious noises when passing through these otherwise quaint towns. Now here the train will have to slow down to 200 kilometers per hour near Elizabethtown. I was trying to deviate the line here, but it would destroy too many homes and moreover, Hills are here, so it would not really be practical to make another tunnel because these cars, unlike the ones near Gap, are actually capable of handling higher speeds. After exiting Elizabethtown, it'll go back to 230 kilometers per hour, not full 300 because it has to slow down and reach Middletown. Now remember how I said Philadelphia had a western suburb bias? Harrisburg has an eastern suburb bias. For example, Hummelstown, Hershey, Paxtonia, all these places, along with Middletown and the airport, they're all east of Harrisburg. Many people in this area especially will not want to go west to Harrisburg, only have to have to go east again to go to Philadelphia, New York, Boston, and beyond. This is why I think Middletown is a prime location for a station. After Milltown, the line will continue right next to the Susquehanna River at 300 km per hour straight all the way to Harrisburg Station. So this line is a fully electrified line, five stations, all of which exist. Only a total of about eight or nine miles will be brand new track. Couple curves will have to be curve straightened, but the travel time between Philadelphia and Harrisburg will be 45 minutes between Philadelphia and Lancaster will be around 33 minutes. Currently, this trip takes 70 minutes to Lancaster and more than 100 minutes to Harrisburg. 
so time will be cut by more than twice by upgrading this line to high speed. In the next web view, we will get challenged. We have to cross these mountains to get to Pittsburgh. And just for a forewarning, this is an interesting yet expensive proposal coming up. So please stay tuned. It may deviate from some of my original web view theories, but I'll have to do it. Okay, thank you and bye.